What is up, New World Rip you Just Game Master Coaching here, plopping out another New World video for you guys. I wanted to show you guys exactly how to do this, how to use armor crafting to actually make anywhere from about 2K to 20K. Um, there's a higher end and a, a lower end just based on RNG, but um, for the most part, I've been making a good 15 to 20K um, pretty frequently off of these with shirking vines um, so, and uh, a lot of the animuses selling the Asmodium and the different materials. So I'm going to go into that in depth so that way you can use armor crafting to make the most amount of money possible. So how I initially came to the understanding of this is I took the armoring uh, skill trade and I looked at how much the overall XP, which shows you here, the overall XP it takes to get all three aptitude boxes. Um, obviously it's going to show you a lesser amount because I'm three quarters of the way done with this, but uh, the total amount of XP that's actually going to be needed to be able to get all three aptitude boxes are going, it's going to be 1,760,622 XP. Each glove that you create is going to give you 6,370 XP. Um, if you're working your way up to 200, I would suggest going through the highest tier armor that you can make and then go through. And if you look inside of the actual armor crafting, you can see these um, these different items with yellow next to um, the item itself. And it will show you down here in this description at the very bottom first craft bonus so you pretty much get the exact same xp that you would get for the item added onto it the first time you craft it so if you are trying to get to 200 i would suggest going into these higher levels um, or the highest level that you can make and go through and make all of these um these yellow uh highlighted ones um, i went through the top tier of what i was making at the time um, and actually use that double XP bonus to get there, get the most am amount of XP possible that I could get uh, to start this off. Um, and then once I hit 200, what I ended up doing, um, I checked the market for infused leather. Um, I made a, another uh, dock for this. Um, this is the beginning inside of this dock. There are three different things. Um, the initial just armor crafting market. So I have the um, infused leather, infused silk price, um, and then the fiber that I would use to, to craft um, the glove, and then the iron ore, and then on the silk side of things, the rawhide that I would use to craft the gloves, and then the iron ore. Um, so that's gonna be on this dock. Um, as you can see the prices, I have the combined total cost to see which one is actually cheaper. So all you have to do is plug in the costs um, of this, of the silk, um, the rawhide, the iron ore, the infused leather, the fiber, the iron ore. Um, you can just plop in the um, the amount for these on your server and then it'll fill out the rest of it. But you can see um, in the combined cost that the, the leather was cheaper um, by a little bit. So what I've been doing is just going through leather. Um, initially I started out, I just bought infused leather because it was like $4 per, insanely cheap. And it was costing me like, I wanna say 2,500 gold. Um, at the beginning of this, maybe a little less than that to um, to get all three aptitude boxes. So spending 2K gold, 2.5K gold to actually make um, 20K or over 20K was just insane to me. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, so go into your server, fill this out. You can see, um, will you be using the leather? Will you be using silk? Um, and then I have the luck items in here for um, instead of infused leather, and infuse silk if you were wanting to use scale cloth or um, blister weave, or if you were wanting for the leather, you were wanting to use uh, scar hide or smolder hide. Um, I have the prices in there for that because that will come into play later down the road. So at the beginning of this, whenever you're starting this, um, I started with infused leather because it was cheap. Um, whatever is cheap in your server, start with that. Um, and then after that, you will move into the next tab, whether it's cloth, uh, making cloth or making leather. Um, so whenever infused leather gets spikes to about $7 on your server, you will not be making very much money. Um, the RNG, you're going to feel the impact of not hitting shirking vines or stuff like that. Um, whenever this starts to get to about $7, um, per infused silk or leather on your server. Um, so what I end up doing from there is I moved into the refined resources. So I'll show you guys what that kind of looks like. So this is a very simple sheet. 
Um, what I did on this is I put the price of the raw hide, the thick hide, the iron hide, and the H tannin. Um, and you can fill those out with whatever is on your server. And then I kind of just went through how many I need to craft one. Um, so that that way this bottom little part you can tell uh, is it cheaper for you to buy infused leather or to craft it. Um, so that's what this is. Uh, everything will populate itself. Um, except for the prices of rawhide, thickhide, ironhide, H tannin, the infused leather, and then everything else will populate for you. Whenever you get into this place, you'll want to make sure that uh, it is cheaper for you to actually uh, craft to refine the leather into infused leather. And if that is the case, this number is not negative. Um, then you can start using these numbers. I put the numbers in here underneath the total needed. Um, you will see that uh, 6,400 is what you'll need um, for the rawhide to do this. And then you will need 3,198 of the thick hide. You will need 4,264 of the iron hide. Um, and then you can usually go through this whole process with about a thousand H tannin. Um, so that's kind of what is like my my go-to um, when it comes to H tannin. Uh, and then also on here, I wanted to show you guys too, um, at the total cost of these, you can see the total cost for rawhide, thickhide, ironhide, H tannin. And what you can end up doing to lower your overall overhead cost um, is you can look for the most expensive, obviously right here on this one, uh, I'm spending the most money on rawhide. Um, so what I can do is just go out and collect that rawhide and then buy the thick hide, buy the iron hide, and that goes for anything. So if something in your server is like outrageously expensive, um, you can go and collect that one material and it's gonna help you out massively, just make more money. So then I wanted to show you this, this is the cloth, um, the making cloth side of things. And uh, as you can see, it's already not viable to refine. So I've been using leather over this cloth, but this is here just in case it is uh, vice versa for you in your server. Um, as you continue to do this, you'll see that the prices of infused leather will increase. Uh, obviously the raw hides that you're using and stuff like that will increase. And eventually it'll get to a point to where infused leather is at a really good place uh, money wise. Um, where infused leather is gonna end up being more than the luck mats. So you'll be able to actually get your scar hide and your smolder hide and start buying those. Um, and then once you buy those, what you'll do is you'll do what you've been doing to craft everything, but you'll use the scar hide, the smolder hide to craft the gloves. And then once you salvage those gloves, you'll get infused leather back and then you'll sell the infused leather. You'll usually want to start doing that whenever the um, the scar hide and the smolder hide is about half the price of infused leather. Um, and then that way you're making half your cost back whenever you're selling your infused leather, um, which just helps continue to perpetuate making profit. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is the dungeon um, items. So there is a few of them that you can use at the higher tier, um, the ancient talisman, sticky vines, desecrated flesh, black powder pouch, and the spectral dust. These have fluctuated upwards for a while now. If you can find them on your server for pretty cheap, it is literally the biggest XP um, for your buck because every time you make them, you're making double XP than you would a normal set of gloves. Um, so it's just nice, which is why they've gone up in price. But um, from what I've seen so far, I try to do the math of, is it worth me buying those mats? But with the dungeon mats, you're gonna need 10 of them. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of run through this just to kind of show you my thought process of what this looks like. But Ancient Talisman, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend money on buying these to level because 10 of them is gonna cost me 38 gold. The total cost to make one is about 28 gold with the prices of infused leather if i was to buy infused leather or whatever um it would be about 28 gold um so me spending 38 gold is not i'm actually losing money on that um sticky vines it's about 16 gold so here pretty soon um, I might be able to start using those to actually um, make a little bit more money, a little bit more XP, um, get those aptitude crates a little bit faster. The desecrated flesh is only 14. Um, so comparative to what I'd be spending, 28 gold. Um, 
compared to 14, that's like half the cost. So I would literally be getting double of the XP for half the cost. If you can get if you can get these uh, these dungeon mats, 10 of these dungeon mats for half the cost of what it would cost for you to craft these, um, then you're definitely going to be making money. Um, these higher ones like back black powder pouch, which is like 60 gold, ancient talisman 38 gold. Um, I would not suggest buying those until they go down in price. Um, but that's kind of my thoughts about the dungeon mats. Um, initially, whenever you are obviously doing your double XP, um, this number is four times. So you're getting four times the XP that you would get from one normal glove. Um, so initially, whenever you're getting the, um, the first time craft XP, I would suggest going through and making all of these dungeon buy and out. Like, I think it's like 50 of each that you need um, so that you can do that initial craft. But um, after that, I, I would, Keep an eye on the prices of these because you don't you don't want to spend more than half of what it costs to make them or you're not actually profiting. So just wanted to throw that out there. The things that you'll need are you'll be selling whenever you're actually doing this. So I put over here on the right hand side um, what I got out of a few after boxes that I didn't really I hadn't put everything in here. There's more stuff in here. You get runic leather, um, raving vines, asmodium, large traveler stones, armor shards. Um, two shards of consecrated iron, uh, the armor and clothing you get out of here, which is a good chunk of cash, um, the star metal armor's charm, you get phoenix weave, um, asmodium, armor's charms, armor's hat, um, brilliant animus, the uh, shining animus, and then the squirming vines. Those are all going to be your big ticket items for this whenever you land those inside of um your aptitude boxes you're gonna get a pretty nice payday so um just keep an eye out for those hey i hope this helps you guys massively i hope you guys make a ton of money be able to buy the stuff that you want to buy i will be having more videos like this pretty soon um i think i'm gonna be doing a weaponsmithing video and some other different videos um as well and then i obviously have some pvp videos coming out pretty soon um, so be looking out for those. Um, if you want to catch more content like this, make sure and subscribe. Um, you guys can hit me up in the comments for any questions or concerns that you guys have. I would be more than happy to help you guys and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.